not being so. Since it's Mona's treat, we can order whatever we want, right? Of course. I am a most generous master, after all. But only if you can finish it all. Wasting food simply will not do. Excuse me, what would you like to order? Though tofu could not be a more ordinary ingredient, it and crab roe are truly a match made in heaven. It's one of our specialties. This is a favorite among our regulars. Bamboo shoots, meat and ham are cooked together, creating a richly flavored soup. Pour a few spoonfuls into each bowl of rice you eat. Mm, you'll never get enough of it. These are made using large succulent shrimp wrapped in crispy fried potatoes. They have an amazing texture. It's exactly what it says on the label. Abalone made from vegetarian ingredients. It's just as good as the real thing. Uh, all of them? We only have three. No, two and a half people? Isn't that too much food? That's not how you count it. Besides, Paimon hasn't even ordered yet. Ahem. <clears throat> Squirrelfish? Juyu chili chicken and joy soup, please! Sure! And is there anything else you'd like to order, ma'am? I... I'd just like to ask, how much do the current dishes cost in total? Um... Around 20,000 mora. Then... Uh, I'll... I'll just have some vegetarian noodles, please. Paimon's been thinking about something since we started eating. Is it? Because she actually doesn't have money? I heard that. I said I was treating. How could I be rattled by something as mundane as Mora? An astrologist's mind is set on studying the stars. Being so easily disturbed by such banal matters would hamper my judgment. Especially the act of overly gratifying oneself using Mora. It is both vulgar... ...and dangerous. So, not eating the dishes we ordered is also part of an astrologist's pride? Paimon doesn't get it. But it feels kinda bad that only we got to feast. Oh, yes! We can do that! Just give us a minute! You Hello! How may I help you? We'd like to borrow the kitchen here! Ah, I see. In that case, sure. As long as you've prepared your own ingredients, feel free to use the kitchen. If I may add one more thing. You must be quite well versed in the art of cooking, yes? <laughs> Talented indeed. Actually, I have a small suggestion to make. From your clothes, you're most likely not from around these parts. But since you've come to Liyue, would you like to try making Liyue-style cuisine? I have a recipe for golden crab with me. It's a Yue cuisine classic. It's crab meat that's been rolled in flour, deep-fried, and then pan-fried together with ginger and garlic. When you finally plate up, the crab seems to be lying on gold. Golden! Crab! Golden Crab! Golden Crab! <laughs> then let's get to it! With your skills in the kitchen, this'll be a cinch!
after peak season, nothing will sell. There's no need to spend all that effort on me. I'm not in dire need of food. I am a little hungry, but it's not a big deal. This aroma is... Wow, it's incredible! Fine, since my disciple has put in so much time and effort, I must, with great difficulty, accept. Mm. This golden crab is too delicious! I have never eaten anything this good in my life! Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I never knew that my disciple was this skilled. As your master, I am most comforted. I see that it's no boast to call them Liyue's delicacies. I suppose it wasn't too much to spend all this mora on. Ah, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Now that we've eaten and drank our fill, we should be off. If we travel north from here, we should reach the Stone Gate, and from there, we will be within the boundaries of Mondstadt. What deep mystery shall we acquire knowledge of? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Season. 